Good day and welcome. Today, we're diving into the world of static electricity. Here's a question to get you thinking, why does a rubbed plastic comb attract small pieces of paper? Share your thoughts in the comments below. Stick around until the end for some fun, thought-provoking questions to test your understanding. Challenge yourself and see how much you've learned, it's a great way to build confidence. And don't forget to like and subscribe so you won't miss our weekly uploads. Let's get started. Have you ever observed the following? A rubbed balloon attracts hair. A rubbed plastic comb attracts small pieces of paper. You get electrical shock when you touch the doorknob. A rubbed plastic comb attracts water. This is the result of static electricity, which means stationary electricity. Static electricity is the accumulation of electrical charges on the surface of an object. These electrical charges do not move in the same way as electrical circuit. The charges remain stationary until another object is touched. The electrical charge then flows to the other object and a spark can usually be seen or heard, as in the case when an electrical shock is felt when you touch a door handle. We have seen that static electricity is the accumulation of electrical charges on the surface of an object. But where do electrical charges come from? To understand the origin of electrical charges, it is necessary to take another look at an atom model. All matter is made of atoms. Atoms are made of even smaller particles known as subatomic particles. These subatomic particles are called protons, neutrons, and electrons. Each atom consists of electrons which are negatively charged particles, protons which are positively charged particles and neutrons which are neutral particles. The electrons are located on the outside of the atom and are loosely bound to the atom. Electrons are located in the space around the nucleus, moving in orbitals or energy levels. The protons and neutrons are located in the middle, the core, of the atom and cannot be removed or more added to the atom. We also say that protons and neutrons are located in the nucleus, which is at the center of the atom. Atoms are usually neutral, in other words, they contain the same amount of electrons as protons. However, the outer electrons of atoms can sometimes become loose and can be transferred from one material or substance to another material. The protons in an atom cannot move, but the electrons can. This means that negative charge can move, but positive charge remains fixed. When two neutral materials or two neutral substances, each containing the same amount of electrons and protons are rubbed against each other, friction results. Friction is a force that occurs when two objects rub against each other, slowing them down or stopping them. It resists the movement of objects that are in contact. For example, when you push a book across a table, the rough surface of the table and the surface of the book create friction, which makes it harder to keep the book moving. The friction between the two materials causes electrons of the atoms on the surface of one material move to the surface of the other material, this means that electrons are transferred between the two. The first material in totality now has more protons than electrons, resulting in a positive charge on its surface. The material is now positively charged as it has lost electrons. The second material in totality now has more electrons than protons, resulting in a negative charge on its surface. The material is now negatively charged as it has gained electrons. Friction between materials like plastic, perspex, glass, nylon, wool and silk causes electrons to be transferred. A plastic ruler can be rubbed with a woolen cloth. The friction or rubbing between the cloth and plastic ruler transfers electrons between the atoms of the two materials which are rubbed together. 
the plastic ruler can become negatively charged by rubbing it as a result of electron transfer accomplished by friction. The charges in totality, from both the woolen cloth and plastic ruler, are still neutral when added together. The fact that charges cannot be destroyed, but only separated from each other is known as the law of conservation of charge or the principle of conservation of charge. Charge is never created or destroyed. Negative charges, electrons, are transferred from one object to another. This means that if a material receives a negative charge through friction, the material with which it is rubbed will obtain an equal positive charge. Remember that only electrons can be removed from materials or be added to materials. Therefore, positive and negative charges are always expressed in terms of gain or loss of electrons. Positive charges arise as a result of a loss of electrons. Negative charges arise as a result of a gain in electrons. Protons and neutrons don't move. Protons and neutrons are never transferred through friction. Charged objects have an influence on each other. Two positively charged objects repel each other. Two negatively charged objects repel each other. A positively charged and a negatively charged object attract each other. That is why we say like charges repel each other and opposite charges attract each other. This attraction and repulsion is caused by attractive and repulsive forces. The attractive and repulsive forces between charged objects work at a distance. If a negatively charged plastic ruler is held near a piece of neutral or uncharged paper, the negatively charged ruler repels the electrons in the paper to the far side of the paper. This leaves an excess of protons on the paper on the side closest to the ruler. The side closest to the ruler is now positively charged. Two forces are at work. An attraction force between the ruler and the positive side of the paper. A repulsion force between the ruler and the negative side of the paper. Because the distance to the positive side of the paper is smaller, the attraction force is stronger and the paper is attracted by the ruler. Remember, opposite charges attract each other. As soon as the paper touches the ruler, electrons move from the ruler to the paper to neutralize the positive charge on the nearest side of the paper. The paper now has a net negative charge. The paper will now also be charged negatively, just like the ruler. Like charges repel each other. The paper is repelled by the ruler. This is why the paper falls off after a little while. Two oppositely charged objects attract each other due to a force between them. This is called an electrostatic force. Electrostatic attraction is a non-contact force because objects do not have to be touching to experience it. When two objects with the same charge are brought together, they repel each other instead. We have come to the end for today. But before we go, please attempt the following questions before the answers pop up. You can pause the video as you go. This is an important section that consolidates what you have learned. In the next video, we will be looking at how the discharge of the electrons causes sparks or shock of static electricity, especially when the air is dry. We will also look at the causes of lightning. Be sure to check out the link for this in the description for more videos. Also, please do not forget to like and subscribe so that you do not miss our weekly uploads. Otherwise, thank you for watching and keep well.